Okay, hello, welcome everybody to the class. It's a pleasure to be with you tonight and I hope you have a very nice uh, Wednesday. Okay, we're gonna start the class, uh, welcome. And uh, well, the first thing that we will do is to check about the platform as usual. So uh, this is the class of today and there is no homework. There is no, some exercises that are not working. So that is very good because I can report and then uh, we are able to fix them. Okay, so. Uh, let's uh, wait for them to be fixed and let's continue, okay? And uh, we're going to check the attendance as usual. So here we go. Okay, Ada Azucena Cáceres Mendoza. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Perfect, Ada. Dani Josué García Martínez. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. I cannot hear. Let me just check something here. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. We can uh, hear now. you. Now yeah, I can. I can. Yeah, something's going on with technology. Okay, so Ileana is here. Uh, Jose Marcos Rodriguez Ayala. Present. Good. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Good. Juan Miguel Bran Mejía. Present teacher. Good. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Good. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana Yvette Asensio de Mejía. Sonia Guadalupe Benítez de Claros. 
Suleima Yvonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Very good. Perfect. So we're going to start. But before that one, I see uh, that in the group, some of you, you one, one person asked already about the um, uh, the announcement by the presidency that uh, on Friday also there will be a holiday and that, well, the question was, are we going to have class? Uh -huh. That is the question. So we're going to do something. We're going to do a test. And if you have seven or more, you are not going to come. Ah, it's not true. We don't know yet. OK. Uh, we have to wait for Insaforb to tell us if we are going to have class or not. In my experience, um, I see very well myself then. OK. <laughs> In my experience, yeah, if, I mean, the government says that is not going to be, uh, I mean, working day is not going to be like a normal day, probably we're not going to have class. Anyways, we need to wait. We need to wait for um, Insafor to tell, first of all, of to all the academies of English, um, and then we are going to be able to tell you. So please be checking your uh, WhatsApp. I don't know how it's going to be because in Safor, I mean, <laughs> the the announcement was at 5 p.m. So in Safor was closed already. And tomorrow they are not going to, to go <laughs> to work. I don't know how it's going to be. But I believe, in my opinion, that it's not going to be uh, classes on Friday. Anyways, and uh, ah, very good. Uh, perfect. Anna Claudia Gacha. Okay, so anyways, we need to wait. Uh, and whenever I have an answer or uh, uh, English Corporative has an answer, we're going to provide you the answer for this one. By now, we just need to wait to check if we're going to have classes on Friday. So please be checking your WhatsApp and then you will know. Tomorrow, most likely, okay? Very good. Okay, so we are going to start, actually, yes, we're going to start with a test. So this is uh, something that I like to do and this time uh, in this advance is, is kind of good. So this is uh, English for schools. The first one that we made, it was general English. So this time we're going to do a little test about English for school, English related to education, let's say. So again, together, we're going to check the answer, okay? We're going to try to agree. If we do not agree, then we're going to vote. And at the end, we're going to check the correct answers. And then we're going to, to think for ourselves how is our English going, okay? If something is not correct, it's not a problem. But if it's not correct, we need to, we need to analyze. What's going on? Why? Why did we get something was not correct? Okay. Anyways, nobody's perfect and we can make mistakes. So that is not a problem. So question number one, uh, it says, could you tell me your surname? And then the answer, it could be, would you like me to spell it? Do you like my family name? How do I say that? Now is your The turn. first one. The first, the first one. one. Would, would you like me to spell it? Do you, would you like me to spell it? Everybody agrees? What yeah, I agree, teacher. Okay, very well. Let's see how we go on this one. <laughs> Number two. This plant looks dead. It's in the garden. It only needs some water. It's sleeping. It only needs some water. It only needs some water. Everybody agrees or anybody else has something else to say about this? Uh -huh, and the rest of the people. I want to know what do you think about this? When you talk about a uh, plant uh, and when you tell that they are dead, it's like uh, marchitas. 
yeah, yeah, something like that. It's like passed away, right? <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you. So for me, it only needs some water. It only needs some water, of course, and the rest of the people. Hello, my friends. This is for everybody. Everybody. Yeah, it only needs some water. It only needs some water, right? Like us in these hot days. I read that September was going to be the most rainy month, but by now, that is not true. Okay, very good. Number three, I hope it doesn't rain. Of course not. Will it be wet? So do I. So do I. So do I. Me too. So mm -hmm. Do I. Everybody agrees? We have two for so do I. And the rest of the people? Yeah, I agree. So do I. So do I. Very well. Let's click on so do I. Number four. Are you going to come inside soon? Forever. Not long. In a minute. In a minute? In a minute. Okay, we have two in a minute. And the rest of the people, do you agree? In a minute. In a minute. Okay, let's take in a minute. This is easier, right? I feel it like more easy. So let's take, let's check about number five. Who gave you this book, Lucy? I bought it for my birthday. My uncle was. My uncle was. My uncle was. Everybody agrees? Maybe the first one. Maybe I bought it. I bought, I bought it. it. I bought it. So we have three. I bought it. So and just one. My uncle was. Mm -hmm. Let's take I bought it since majority of people say that. What is going to happen? Are we going to win the car? I don't know yet. Shall we go out for pizza tonight? I know that. It's very good. I'm too tired. I'm too tired. I'm too tired. And the rest of the people? Yeah. I'm, I'm too, too tired. tired. We're never tired for pizza. But anyways, we're going to take <laughs> that one. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, I mean, for food, I mean, if you are very tired and somebody says, come, I'm going to invite you for some pizza, you say, okay, let's go. Tacos, tacos de birria. Oh, I love that. That is amazing, man. And yeah. you know, I, I play in a band and here in Santana, there is a new bar and uh, we're going to play in that uh, new bar and they are going to give us uh, pizza uh, of, of birria. So I never tried that one. I would like to try that. And I'm thinking about Saturday a lot. So let's see how it goes. Ooh, okay. Number seven. Have you ever tried pizza? Birria pizza? Somebody? No, you know birria pizza, no. Birria. Uh, cerveza, beers. But oh. in, uh, but um, you, you, uh, tell birria in a uh, not a formal way, in a in a very calle way. <laughs> uh, yeah, but the tacos of birria. I mean, have you ever tried tacos of birria? Never, Giselle. Because that is like tacos with kind of. Uh, a kind of meat, soft meat, and and it has a juice, a juice that is, I mean, that is amazing. That is, I mean, yeah. it is is very, very, very good. If you haven't tried that one, you can't wait. Please, please do. What I have never tried is birria pizza. So I don't know. It's going to be pizza with that sauce. I don't know. I would like to try. I'm going to tell you next week how it's going. Number seven. Do you mind if I come to? That's fine. I'd like to. I don't know if I can. That's fine. That's fine. And the rest of the people? 
That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, that's fine. Number eight, there's someone at the door. Can I help you? Well, go and answer it then. He's busy at the moment. Well, go and answer it then. That's what Heidi says. And the rest of the people? The same. The same. Well, go and answer it then. Anybody else's? I agree. Okay. We'll go and answer it then. I guess this is a little bit easier. How much butter do I need for this cake? I like one. I'll use some. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure. sure. Okay. I'm not sure. Very good. I'm not sure. Very good. Perfect. How long are you here for? Since last week. Ten days ago. Till tomorrow. Ah, this is a good one. Till tomorrow. Till tomorrow. Okay. And the rest of the class. Yeah, I think the same. Till so, tomorrow. Till tomorrow. We have two votes uh, for till tomorrow. Anybody else's? Till, till tomorrow. Till tomorrow, okay. We're going to take till tomorrow because we agree. Now let's go to the next part. Have you guys had enough to eat? That's all right. Is there any more rice? It's not the right time. Maybe a fierce one. It's that's all right. That's all right. Okay. And the rest of the people. Yeah. Is there any more rice? So is there any more rice? So we have one that's all right, and the other is is there any more rice? Aha. Uh -huh. And the rest of the class. Is there any more rice? Is there any more rice has two votes? Uh -huh. Anybody else's? That's in case I am I am still hungry. <laughs> yeah, maybe rice. Uh -huh. But I think the first one is uh they are asking you uh, if uh you had enough to eat. So if you are Plenty, yeah, full, no, no, full, full okay. Yeah. If, if you are full, uh, for me, no, no, it that's all right. Okay? That's all but right. I, uh -huh. Okay, so we have then two, that's all right, and two, is there any more rice? We need the rest of the people to participate. So we can move on. What does the public say? Door number one or door number two? Mm, we have a predicament here. Anybody else's? Hello. Well, I don't know what to do because we are two and two. I'm gonna ask somebody. Let's see. That's all right. I'm sorry. Uh, I think it's that's all right. That's all right. So the winner by now is that's all right. Okay, let's take that one, and let's see what happens in the answers. Okay. Okay, number twelve. That's my coat over there. Will you take it off? No, you haven't. Here you are. Here you are. Here, Here you are. are. 
Yeah, here you, here you are. Okay. Yeah, so we agree that is here you are. Number 13, let's go by bus. The train was expensive. We'll buy a ticket. I'll take two. It'll take long. It'll take too long. Okay, anybody else's? The same. It'll it take... take too long. Okay. Everybody else? I want to know. Okay, it'll take too long. Number 14. Do you know my brother Charlie? Sorry, he's not here. I don't think I do. I know. I don't think I do. Yeah, the same. I don't think I do. I don't think I do. And the rest of the people? I agree. I agree with them. Okay, very well. Number 15. Would you like some ice in your drink or not? I hope so. Yes, I shall. I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind. mind. Yeah. Very well. Anybody else's? Okay, I don't mind then. It's going to be. So let's go to number 16 that has four options. I hope I haven't. Aha. Uh -huh. Put cows made down. Cost? Cost. You any trouble by changing the arrangements? Mm -hmm. Anybody else's? Cost. Cost. So you agree? Anybody else's? Yeah, cows. Cows, okay. Very well, let's move on. Number 17, the floor is wet. Don't run or you might stoop, spill, slip, spin. Sleep? Sleep? Sleep. sleep. Yeah, this is kind of... Yeah, sleep. One. Very good. <clears throat> when you come to my house, uh -huh, take, show, fetch, or bring. 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 And the rest of the people? Yeah, bring. Bring, bring. Yeah. Very well. Number 19. Paul arrived at the shop, even just still arrived as the money was closing for the day. Just. Right. Just. So we have two just and one right. Anybody else's? Yeah. Right, you say right? Oh, I didn't listen. Yes. Adjust. Okay. So just is going to be the one here. All right. Number 20. I would rather better prefer or enjoy to stay at home and relax for a change. Prefer. I would rather. I would rather. Yeah, I would rather. I would rather. Okay, so the majority said rather and just one prefer. Sad. Okay, very well. And the last part. Okay. Is there adequate, enough, sufficient, or plenty of food for everyone? Mm, plenty? Enough. 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 Two enough and one plenty. Anybody else's? It's been a, a kind of a difficult one, but we're going to take it out because he's the winner. Number 22. Lily says she's happy at school, but she's rarely, sometimes, always, often complaining. Always. 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 Everybody agrees?
Okay. Number 23. Uh, consider, mind, attend, or look the step when you go in. Mind. Mind. Everybody agrees? Look. 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 Anybody else's? Okay, let's take a look since that is that one now. Number 24. Uh, at all costs, or by all means, or in all, or on the whole, stay the night if it's too difficult to get home. Maybe by all means? By all means. Everybody agrees? have just one opinion and the rest of the people mm. at all costs at all costs okay at all costs and by all means anybody else's At all costs. At all costs. Winning at all costs then. Okay. And this is the final one. No. Surprise problem, question, or wonder. Hannah is happy when you think how many prizes she has won recently. Problem? No problem. Wonder? Uh, wonder, wonder and problem. We have one and one. Oh, uh -huh. and the rest of the people. What well, wonder, one problem. Roof. No, no. No. no surprise, maybe. Oh my goodness, we have another of those. One surprise, one problem, and one wonder. Anybody else's? <laughs> the dog says... My dog problem. says problem. Problem. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So, let's take problem and check. Just because the dog says... Okay, now here comes, here comes the fan. Da, 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 da. Okay, uh, review. 19 out of 25. Mm -hmm. Let's check. Number one, could you tell me your surname? That was correct. Would you like me to spell it? Of course, that was correct. Nice. Number two was also correct. This plant looks dead. It only needs some water. It's not dead. Let's try to say. Uh, number three, I hope it doesn't rain. So do I. Very good. That was a good one. Number four, are you going to come inside soon? In a minute. Okay. I'm watching the stars. Number five was also correct. Who gave you this book, Lucy? I bought it. Very good. Number six was also correct. Shall we go out for pizza tonight? I'm too tired. Very good. Number seven. Do you mind if I come too? That's fine. Very good. Number eight. Also correct. There's someone at the door. Well, go and answer it then. Right. Number nine was also correct. 
How much butter do I need for this cake? I'm not sure. Number 10 was also correct. How long are you here for? Till tomorrow. Very good. Nice. Number 11 was not correct. Have you guys had enough to eat? So it was, is there any more rice? <laughs> Yay. Yay. <laughs> so <laughs> sometimes this kind of question get, I mean, they are easy, but sometimes there are two answers that might be the correct one, right? And the one that is closer to the question here is, is there any more rice? Because it's asking about food, actually. So that is the only reason. It's because, and the first one is eat, and the second one is as rice. So they match better than that's all right. Okay. Uh, anyways, if somebody asks me, have you guys had enough to eat? Maybe I don't ask for rice. I ask Good teacher, for we so. cannot hear you. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah I can hear you. Yeah, I can hear you. Mm. Yeah, you know, something's going on with internet in all the Salvador. I don't know what's going on. I was in meetings today all day long, and that happened. And we use other tools. We don't use Zoom. We use Google Meet. And uh, some people didn't listen, and they were in different parts of, of the country. So something's going on. Okay. Very well. Thank you for the feedback. Okay. So, yeah, I wouldn't ask for more rice. Is there more chicken? Is there more meat? Maybe. No more rice. Number 12 was correct. That's my coat over there. Here you are. That was very good. Number 13 was also correct. Let's go by bus. It'll take too long. Very good. That was also nice. Uh, 14, do you know my brother Charlie? Was also correct. I don't think I do. Nice to meet you, Charlie. Number 15 was also correct. Would you like some ice in your drink or not? And it was also correct. I don't mind. Okay. Number 16 was also correct. I hope I haven't caused you any trouble by changing the arrangements. Very good. What is arrangements, people? Mm. <clears throat> Uh, when you try to uh, establish uh, the, the time of every, in this case, of every meeting. So you have to arrange them in order to, uh, every meeting has, uh, and have, have enough time, okay? And a separate, separate hour. Okay, yeah, that might be something like an arrangement. It's like some change or uh -huh. something that you postpone. Okay, something that you postpone in this case. Yeah, yeah, because, uh, there is an arrangement. So, yeah, an arrangement is like a situation where you agree or not agree to do something, right? So, number 17 was also correct. The floor is wet, don't run, or you might slip. Very good. Nice. Number 18 was also correct. When you come to my house, bring your camera with you. Yeah, I really like to take pictures, a lot of pictures. Number 19 was also correct. Paul arrived at the shop just as the manor was closing for the day, just in time for that one, for the moment. So definitely, this was just very good. Number 20 was not correct. That was prefer, okay? Rather and prefer sometimes are synonym, okay? And this was very difficult. I mean, it's possible actually to say, I would rather to stay at home and relax for a change. Then I would prefer to stay at home and relax for a change. When you are going to use one or the other, that depends on the context. So for example, um, if you are just saying something, you will say, I will, I would prefer. I would prefer to be here, to, to stay here. And rather is whenever somebody's asking you, what would you like to do? Would you like to do this or this? Oh, I'd rather do this. It's more common to use it in that context. That's the only reason why this one was preferred and not rather. But I totally understand. I mean, rather is 
I mean, you will say I would rather, I rather they say. And uh, so it's a very, it's a very common thing and it's very difficult sometimes to identify. Number 21 was also incorrect. Is there plenty of food for everyone or is there enough food for everyone? Uh, well, this one is because it's, uh, well, also they are very similar in, in this context, but um, in grammar sometimes it's better to ask, uh, how can I say this? Is there enough food? That is the key. Is there enough food and not plenty of? Remember in grammar, how is that? That plenty is going to be sometimes linked with of. Enough is not. It's going to be just because of that. The, the word of is going to tell you that it's going to be plenty. Plenty of. There are plenty of students, plenty of rooms, plenty of any other thing. But with enough, we don't use of. Number 22 was correct. Lily says she's happy at school, but she's always complaining. So it's not true, right? Poor Lily. Number 23 was not correct. Uh, yeah, this was kind of easy in my opinion. Look the steps, look on your steps, look when you walk. So pay attention, right? And mine is like, like when you care, uh, it's important for you to, for me to, to use, to do something, right? Uh, would you mind open the door, for example? It's like, do I bother you? Is it bothering you? Something like that. In this case, it's going to be look because it's to watch out, it's to be careful. Number 24 was not correct. So in this case, it's by all means. Uh, somebody says that actually, and it's like, well, the meaning, if you say that, if you think about that in Spanish, is going to be very similar to at all costs. But in English, the expression is by all means. That it was going to be the, the expression in this situation. By all means, stay the night if it's too difficult to get home. So don't get risk. By all means, if you can, uh -huh, something like that. I know if you want to avoid, if you can avoid uh, driving because it's raining or driving because it's too late or anything like that, that would be by all means. And the last one was also incorrect. No problem was wonder. Okay, so the dog was not right. So no wonder Hannah is happy when you think how many prizes she has won recently. So that is very common in English. No wonder. Now I know. Now I understand why this is happening. Okay. Very good. Do you guys have a question? No, teacher. Very good. I have one more of this kind, but not for today. Or if we have the time, we're going to do it. Good. So we're going to move to the book. Uh, so this is unit two. At the beginning of unit two, we don't check that many things because there are not many things to watch, but we're going to check on the grammar. So uh, how to use special expressions followed by gerunds. Okay, so we are going to check into this. Let's see, uh, Giselle, could you please help me read in this? Yeah, okay. How to use special expressions followed by gerunds. Look at the examples in the box, then complete the exercise below. Go plus recre recreational verbs. Use the grammar structure go plus verb, uh, ing, to talk about leisure activities or activities you do in your free time. For example, we go fishing with our mates from the office. There is a new recreational program so that employees can go biking. He goes running every day after work. Other expressions used with gerunds, have fun, have a good time plus verb ing, have trouble, have difficulty plus verb ing, waste, spend time or money plus verb ing. Examples. The employees had fun learning at the training. The new hire is having trouble understanding the, saf the safety proce procedure manual. Companies spend years building a reputation. The verbs go, 
have, waste, and spend change based on the subject and desired tense. Notice, however, the ing form of this of the verbs stays the same, no matter what tense is used. Good, perfect. So this is kind of an easy thing, okay? So there are some uh, expressions, some expressions that are very common, very used, uh, and that can be followed by a gerund. So it's not like specific grammar, it's like an expression that you can use it for. For example, go with any activity that is like a recreational verb. Uh, that is actually the meaning of leisure. So when you are spending your time with your hobbies or things like that one, right? So you can use go plus the verb. And that is something that you have seen since the very beginning of English classes, right? Like go swimming, go fishing, go biking, go running. So when you are speaking about an activity, that is like that, like fun or anything like that, uh, is going to be normal to use go and the gerund uh, of the verb, okay? And well, as it says at the end, it doesn't matter if you are using that in different tenses. For example, if we say we go fishing with our mates from the office, how would it be that in simple past? We went, we? we uh -huh. went fishing, maybe. That is it. We went fishing. Only the main verb is going to change because the ing, the gerund, is not a verb. It's just the name of the activity. So in that case, the ing word is going to stay the same, no matter what happened. You can say, we will go. We are going to go fishing. Uh, we have gone fishing whatsoever. So... But the first part is the part that is going to, to change according to the tense, not the, the other one. Other expressions with gerunds can be have fun plus the verb. For example, I, I had fun fishing last weekend, for example. Uh, have a good time also. And then the ing verb. I will have a good time going to the beach next weekend. So that might be it. Have trouble have difficulty also is possible to use or is very common to use with the verb ing. Waste and spend time or money is also something that you can use with a verb in ing. There are some examples there. Uh, the employees had found learning at the training. The new hire is having trouble understanding the safety procedure manual. Companies spend years building a reputation. So, and uh, again, at the, at the end, it says, right, that um, you are going to change only the main verb, but not the ing. Good, good. Do you have any questions about this? No, teacher. Clear as our chat, right. Very easy, actually. If there are no questions, we are going to do the exercise six then. There are some words there on the box, and then we are going to complete the sentence with the correct form of the verbs in the box. That is going to be very easy. I, I guess we can do it right away, right? So, for example, Mark and Dan, well, I'm, I'm going to give you maybe two minutes for you to, to finish or 30 minutes, and then we can we can check because you have to decide which words you're going to use on, on each. So I'm going to give you a few minutes, uh, take on to that one, and then we're going to move on.
Okay, did you finish? Yes, no, maybe. Yes, sir. Yes. Let's make it then. Number one, who wants to share a number one? Me, teacher. Go ahead, please. Mark and Dan go surfing during summer vacation. Very good, perfect. Mark and Dan go surfing to El Tunco during summer vacations. Very nice, good. Number two, how is it gonna be, anybody? Me, teacher. Okay. Um, some of my coworkers have difficulty working under pressure. Under pressure, yeah, that is true. Very good. Sometimes it's difficult, you know, but well, I really like to work under pressure. Number three, who's going to be number three? Uh, me, teacher. Okay. Uh, I think it, it was, we had a good time sightseeing. Sightseeing, very well. Perfect. Number four, anybody else's? The new employee had trouble understanding the new the, the safety regulations. Very good. The new employee had trouble understanding the safety regulation. Why? We don't know. Number five. Uh -huh, number five, somebody. Uh, the boss. Oh, sorry, sorry, the boss. <laughs> no, go ahead. Go ahead. Number five. Okay. The the boss goes playing golf after meetings. Number six is correct. The boss goes playing golf after meeting. So very well. So you saw it seems that number five is for you. Yeah, companies waste money advertising the wrong products. Very good. Perfect. How is that possible that a company advertise the wrong product in my end? Anything can happen. It happens. Yeah, <laughs> that is true. But then you can see, I mean, that is maybe not. Maybe the company is good and the products, but the management sometimes is not a good one. Anyways, very good. Perfect. Questions about this kind of grammar? No, teacher. It's piece of cake, right? Very nice. So uh, before we check into the attendance, because it's almost time, I have a very important question for you. But this is very, very, very important for me. Is, um, how do you deal with mosquitoes? What do you do? Because I hate them and they are always after me. So <laughs> I want an advice. Could you please somebody help me? I need help. I, uh, teacher, have I don't know if if that's the 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 word like a racket, but uh, with like kind of electricity. So, so you use oh, go ahead. I kill them because I hate mosquitoes. Too. Oh, I hate them. You know, it's like I'm mm -hmm. sleeping and it comes and it's like my goodness. Why don't you bite me in silence or something? Like that? <laughs> Actually, I I I used to, or like every day, or sometimes I sleep with the with this racket just next to me, and sometimes in the middle of the night, like my ear, and just turn on the racket and kill them. Yeah, you know, it's 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 not good. I have a racket. Actually, I have it here with me. It's over there, and. Um, I 
I mean, I spent like 20 minutes trying to kill every single one, but sometimes they escape and sometimes the racket, they don't work. I mean, I see, I see when the racket goes direct to the mosquito and hit the mosquito and the mosquito flies away laughing. And I'm like, my goodness. I also try uh, the spray, you know, the uh, bygone or raid or any name also. I don't know what happens with the mosquitoes at my home, but I, I spray them and they go away and they continue. I don't know what's going on. So what else can we do with mosquitoes? What do you think? Some people said that it's a good idea to use big paparu. Okay. So you have to put on you big mm -hmm. in your skin, in your skin, a uh, uh, little bit of big paparo. A little bit of big paparo. But uh, mm -hmm. I mean, it's going to be a little bit. Uh, by any chance, do you know where exactly or whatever I want? Or maybe in the parts that they are looking for? Only in the exposed part. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I haven't tried and I haven't heard about that one before. So I can give it a shot. You know, I actually have uh those repellents from mosquitoes and it doesn't work sometimes i put everything and i mean i don't know i don't know so but Maybe that your blood your blood is so sweet for the mosquitoes i am too sweet <laughs> okay that's a good one <laughs> yeah i don't know what's going on uh, but um i don't know in the past when i was a kid they didn't bite me but now they hate me i don't know Somebody, a mosquito told to every, all the other mosquitoes by the teacher because he speaks English. So, big vapor. I'm going to try that one. Any other advice on this? Uh huh. Maybe other um, option is to. Burn it up a uh, paper and make some smoke. And yeah, that can help to the mosquito to go away. So do like a little fire with paper, you say? Yeah, with paper or I know, yeah, paper. Okay, okay. Yeah, that sounds interesting. I can read about that one. Mm, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Sometimes I sleep at two in the morning because of mosquitoes. And I wake up at six in the morning and that is not good for me. Sometimes maybe that is why you, you see that I'm serious and I'm like, yeah, no, let's do this one. It's because I haven't slept at all. But what well, I really enjoy to be here with you and I hate to be like that. So it's... Is killing me softly, is uh, interfering with my job, with everything that I do, and I don't like. Actually, that's why, uh, that's one of the reasons that I was trying to go to other countries where there are no many mosquitoes. So, anyways, good advice. Is any, anybody else wants to share something or that it works? Well, teacher, I, I share uh, a video in the group of WhatsApp. Uh, is about make a little trap for the mosquitoes. Oh, I guess I have seen that one. I never tried, but it's like with a bottle, right? Yeah, it's, it's with a bottle. You know, I, I'm going to give it a try. I mean, I'm desperate and, and I can try many things. I have tried many things like the things that they put uh, on the gardens that is like an oil that they smell it. Sometimes they burn and burn it. I have tried that one. And they are killing me. I'm gonna die because of this. So it's not good for me. Thank you for your pieces of advice. I'm gonna watch the video. I'm gonna try it, and I will let you know if that works. I hope it works. In the meantime, me and my racket, as you saw, we will sleep together, alone and killing mosquitoes. Good. We're going then uh, to check right now the attendance. Okay, Ada Azucena Cáceres Mendoza. Good, thank you, Ada. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. 
Dani Josué García Martínez. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Iliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Good. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Good. José Osmín Rivas Navas. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Good. Juan Miguel Bran Mejía. Present teacher. Good. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana Yvette Asensio de Mejía. Sonia Guadalupe Benítez de Claros. Gallo María Alejandra. Ok, en Zuleima Yvonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Perfect. Very good. So we are going to continue uh, with a little bit of uh, grammar, the one that you really like and enjoy. So let me just close this and I'm going to share with you. Okay, so this is about uh, gerunds, okay? So it's a verse followed by gerunds. There are many of those. And I know that in the book, there are just a few. The other day, we checked only a few of those as well. So, of course, you know that a gerund is a verb ending in ing that functions as a noun. An infinitive is the basic or root room or of a verb, typically proceeds with two. So, uh, the gerund is ing and the infinitive is the to and the base verb. There are certain verbs that can only be followed by one or the other. And these verbs must be memorized. So that is the sad part of this one. So there is not a tip, there are no rules. You need to memorize, do it by heart, okay? So these are just uh, verbs followed by gerunds, only gerunds, okay? So there are 60 verbs followed by gerunds. So we have admit, and there are some examples there. He admitted cheating on the test. Acknowledge, we checked that already. She acknowledged receiving assistance. Advice, the doctor generally advised going, doing exercise, I'm sorry. Allow, Ireland doesn't allow smoking in bars. Is that so? I don't know. Anticipate. I didn't anticipate having to do the cooking myself. Appreciate. I appreciated her helping me. Avoid. She always avoid going to the dentist. Begin. I began learning English when I was 16. I can't bear. He can't bear talking to his old classmates. Uh, question for you, what is can't bear? Like endure or... Um, I don't know, endure is the only word. Okay. So it's like annoying for me, right? Something that is, uh, is annoying. That might be the word. Uh, it's messing up with my nerves, getting to my nerves, we we'll say. So that's it. It could uh -huh. be like uh, being... Like being? Sorry, upset about something? Something like that, yeah upset so it's, it's not good it's like uh, I, I don't like it right can help he can help bringing that topic again and again so what is can help
Uh huh. Anybody wants to explain what is I can help? Uh, avoid in this case. Exactly. Uh -huh. Not being able. You are not able to do something. Very good. So it's unavoidable, right? So it's something that I can't do anything about it. So it's something that I like it or I do it or something like that. So in this case, I can help bringing that topic again and again. So I I try not to bring the topic, but I do it. I, I don't know what to do. I, I can't help doing that one. So that is it. Good. Can see. Also, this is uh, followed by a general. I can't see paying so much money for a car. Can't stand. He can't stand her smoking in the office. What is can't stand? Uh -huh, anybody? Nobody. Okay. I can stand is like I can bear. It's like I, I it gets to my name. I, I don't like it. I hate it. I can't stand her smoking in the office. But sometimes uh, it's more polite to see to say I can stand than I hate it. Cease. The government ceased providing a free health care. Well, that's not good. So what is to cease? Hi, anybody. What is to cease? Stop doing something. To stop doing something. That is it. Uh -huh. Very good. Complete. He completed renovating those two buildings. Consider, she considered moving to a, a European country. Continue. He continued watching Netflix shows for hours. Oh, that's me. Defend. The lawyer defended her making such statements. Delay. He delayed doing my exercises routines. Defer. She deferred writing my thesis. What is the fair? Anybody? Can I postpone? Okay, very good. Nice. Deny. He denied committing crimes in Colombia. Despise. She despises waking up early. What is the spice? Yeah, uh, when you dislike someone or something. Very good. You don't like at all. Good. Discuss. We discussed working at the company. Dislike. She dislikes working in those big companies. Don't mind. I don't mind helping you. Dread. She dreads getting up at 5 a.m. What is dread? You know, when you feel when you feel fair sorry oh my god when you feel uh, worried about something okay worried yeah something like that good encourage he encourages eating healthy foods enjoy we enjoy hiking and camping in the mountains Finish. He finished playing video games around midnight. Forget. I forgot giving you the money for the rent. Hate. I hate cleaning win uh, windows and toilets. Imagine. I can't imagine living in a haunted house. Mm, that must be interesting. It's like speaking with a ghost at 2 in the morning. Involve. This procedure involves testing each sample twice. Intent. I hear they intend marrying. <laughs> That's funny. Keep. They keep interrupting our conversation. Like, she likes cooking and writing recipes. Love. 
I love jogging and running in the mountain. Mentioned, he mentioned going to a private university. Mind, do you mind waiting here for a few minutes? Uh, she miss, she misses living near the coast. Need, the house needs cleaning. Neglect, she neglected doing her homework. Permit, Costa Rica does not permit smoking in restaurants. Postpone, he postponed returning to Paris. Practice, she practiced singing all calls, uh, call play sounds. Prefer, he preferred sitting at the back of the movie theater. Propose, I proposed having lunch at the beach. Quit, she quit worrying about her misbehaved son. What is misbehave? Anybody? Maybe a bad behavior. To have a bad behavior, very good, nice. So, recall, Tom recalled using his credit card at the store. Recollect, well, actually, we're, I'm not gonna read the, the whole things, but only the verbs. Recollect, recommend, regret, remember, report, require, resent, resist, risk, start, stop, suggest, support, tolerate, try, understand, and urge. So what are we gonna do? We are going to write a little story and you have to use at least five of these different verbs followed by a gems. So today we're going to practice writing a little bit and sharing with other people. And uh, I'm going to, oh, here is it. I'm going to send you in the chat for everybody uh, the link so you can check it. And if you want me to move it, I'm gonna move it. I'm gonna give you a few minutes for you to write. Remember that it should be five of these verbs followed by any gerund. It, hasn't, it doesn't have to be the same uh, verb that is next to the verb. It can be in any tense, the main verb. And then you are going to just tell the everybody the story that you wrote. Any paragraph or story, story is better or you can write about anything that you may want. So do you have any questions about the activity? No, teacher. Okay, so I'm gonna wait. If you have questions, let me know. And of course I will be here. I send you the link already to the chat of the Zoom. And uh, of course, if you want me to move this in the screen, I will be able to.
Have you finished? Yes, maybe. Do you need more time? Or do you want to start? Just a uh -huh. couple of minutes, teacher. Of course, of course. I will give you more time.
Okay, have you finished already? Yes, no, do you need more time? Maybe more time. Okay, perfect, no worries. We have plenty of time. I finished teacher, but um, we have to use all those pairs. Uh, five. Oh, five. Yeah, I, I used it all like one, two, three, four, five. Six. Okay. So neglect to intent. <laughs> Very good. So we're gonna wait for the rest of the people to finish, and then we're gonna share. Okay. Good. Good.
Okay, have you finished? Hello. Yes, I guess we're ready, right? Well, okay, so we're going to start uh, with a volunteer. Who wants to be the first one? So we can use the grammar that we're learning. Uh, teacher. Good, perfect, Marcus. We are going to listen to Marcus. Okay. Um. Uh, this is a kind of real history. <laughs> Good. So, yeah, it's important to go to. Okay. Uh, I start. Uh, yesterday we need we needed water inside the tank the tanks because my mom neglected the water reserve and she didn't mind if the water ran out so I have to mention that to solve the problem with my father we carry the water manually to the tank we intend other way to pass the water but at the end we didn't so in order to not missing the privilege to bath with the warm water in the morning we keep on carrying the water with containers. I didn't like the way almost at midnight and under the rain, but I love to do some hard work for the house if it's needed. Okay, very good. Yeah, it sounds like you had a lot of work to do, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry to hear that one. Uh, just <laughs> one thing. It seems that you use a lot of verbs Sometimes I disappear. It seems that you actually you use lots of verbs, but you didn't use gerunds after the verbs, right? Oh, sorry. So only in a few cases, like I kept uh, carrying. So that one, yes, but not in the other part. So remember that it was like these verbs are followed by gerunds. So it's possible. I mean, it's possible to use it, uh, to use them the way that you did it. I mean, you can use it with um, any other complement. Um, but the idea was to to use gerunds after the verbs. Okay. Yeah. But the story was interesting, and it's also mm -hmm. good that you you had the water that you. <laughs> good, perfect. Thank you, Marcus. Okay. Who wants to be the next one? Nobody. Okay. Hey, teacher. Okay, very good, Fernando. We're gonna listen to Fernando. Okay. Okay. Uh, yesterday, I have a dinner. At the beginning, I didn't know what to do, but I remembered my mother likes cooking and writing recipes. She suggested cooking pasta and I loved the idea. The dinner was great. I enjoyed eating and talking with the people. Of course, after that, I talked to my mother. I appreciated her helping me and we continued watching TV for a while. That's it. Very good, that was very nice. Perfect, thank you, Fernando. And the verbs that you used with the generals were very good and you fit them in the paragraph very nice. Perfect, thank you. I see you. Good. Now, who wants to be the next one? No volunteers. I'm going to choose them. Let's look. Uh, well, we know that Roberto is not there available. Juan Miguel Brand. Uh, can, can you wait a little bit more, please? Of course, yes, yes. We can give you a few Thank more minutes. Not a problem. Uh, let's check then. Ada Susana is not able to talk by now. Um, Maria Alejandra. Hello, Mary.
I can participate, teacher. Very well, perfect. Thank you, Giselle. Okay, I made a little story. So, okay, the girl with the big eyes. Um, since Sophia was a baby, all people around her admitted having admiration about her eyes. That just because of their yellow, they shiny and uh, sorry because of their yellow and beautiful color like if shiny honey we were talking about but also because both looked like two huge suns so her parents can't help falling in love with her every day sophia kept growing and she never can avoid seeing how people look at her just for her eyes and sometimes that unique trait of her made that she felt insecure until one day she told herself, I have to begin loving me. And since, the, and since that day, she has started encouraging to all people that have special traits. Very good, very interesting. And yeah, the verse in general were very, very nice. Perfect, thank you, Giselle, that was amazing. Thank you, teacher. Good, so now um, let's check. Roxana, is it possible for you, Roxana? Not possible. Yeah, Roxana was in a meeting. Um, Suleyma Yvonne. Nobody's here. Who else is missing? Uh, Maria Alejandra, are you there? Roberto Orellana. Ramon Enrique. Heidi. Everybody is at the supermarket getting food for tomorrow since it's a holiday. Which is good, actually. And it's a double holiday, right? That's kind of weird. We're going to speak about that later. Okay, it seems that, Juan Miguel, you are the last one. If you're ready, if not, we can wait a little bit more. Okay, I will try. <laughs> uh, we went to a taco the last month with my friend, and I suggested renting an entire house for all of us, but at the end, I decided to stay in a hotel. So when we arrived, there were no available room, and the hotel receptionist asked if we mind waiting a little more. In the meantime, he intends bringing the maids to clean the rooms and offer us to stay and relax with a soda and a couple of snacks. He made the thing that we want at the end. I'm sure he likes helping people to enjoy the visit, and the result of this is more tips to him. Okay, very good. It was very good, and the usage of the verbs with the gerunds also were nice. It's very important. It's very important for everybody to try to remember these verbs that are with the gerunds. And next week, I guess, we're going to check uh, the other ones, the ones that are followed by an infinitive. The problem is that sometimes you cannot use a gerund with a verb. And the opposite, I mean. And if uh, there are verbs also, this is something very important we are going to check. There are verbs that you can use either um, an infinitive or a gerund, the same, but the meaning is totally different. So that's why it's kind of important, this part. Very well. Okay, I thought that we were going to have more time for this one, but I mean, many people are kind of busy. So we're going to do free practice the last minutes. Free practice is like a conversation, a free conversation. So um, let's speak. Everybody, let's speak about movies. What is your favorite movie? Tell us about that one. Uh huh. Hello.
Okay, I'm going to choose somebody then so we can speak. So let's see, Giselle. Yes, teacher. Hello, how are you? Good. Nice. Are you at home already or are you driving or something? No, like I'm home. Ah, very well, oh, very well. I didn't yeah. want you to have an accident or something. Oh, no, no, it's okay, I'm home. Okay, so let me ask you, what is your favorite movie? Mm, my God, difficult question. My favorite movie. We have many, but so maybe of one of my favorites is Pride and Prejudice. Okay, very good. So I'm that, very romantic. <laughs> okay, that's good. Very nice. So, yes, I, I remember I read the book. It was very, very good. The movies, I mean, I, I know that there are kind of three or four movies about that one. So it's kind of interesting. I haven't seen the latest, to be honest with you. I don't know which one is the one that you like, the latest, or there was another one that, that was made in the 80s, I guess. And another one. Um, to be honest, I didn't read the books. <laughs> just I just saw the movie. So I don't have a, a, a clear idea about maybe which book. Okay. And no. what about other movie? Any other movie that you like? Mm. Let me think, maybe if we're talking about Disney movies, I really love The Little Mermaid. <laughs> okay, The Little Mermaid, but you mean the classic or the new one? No, the new one is the not, not. the classic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Disney the right new now. One, uh -huh. It's kind of interesting. Okay. I want to see the new one too. Okay, it would be a good experience. And, uh, um, I, you know, I really like I really like animated movies, but that is maybe the only one that I haven't seen. I have I haven't seen some maybe two or three movies from Disney, and that is one of the movies that I haven't seen completely. I have seen some parts only, but not the whole thing. But I know that the story is very nice. Of course, it's not uh, like the story, the real story, right? Yeah. But, uh, yeah. The the movies Disney movies are very good, and yeah. Sometimes um, I just want to see something and it's like, like we said in, in Spanish, la vieja confiable, okay. the little mermaid. <laughs> yeah, that happens, right? Sometimes when you don't know what to do, don't know what to watch, you're looking for a show and you don't know what, what is going to happen. Sometimes it's better to go back to the classics, right? Yeah, back to the basics. <laughs> that is good. So... Well, speaking about romantic movies, the one that I really like, I, I really like two movies. One is like a comedy and romantic and the other one is romantic. I really like The Notebook. Have you seen that one? No, but my sister uh, did and she recommend me that, she told me just like, you have to see that movie. You and, have. And I just didn't see the movie, but yeah. I have your recommendation now and maybe maybe this weekend. It's a very nice movie. It's romantic. It's, uh, it's nice. It's nice. The story is, is very good. How they put everything together. It's, it's a very nice movie. Um, the other one that I could recommend you about comedy and romance is Crazy Stupid Love. Have you seen that? Uh, yeah, but now the whole movie. Just like one their part, but my brother really likes that movie. I really like that movie. It's, it's very funny. It's kind of stupid because that's the name of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's nice. It's nice. You know, at the end, it's, it's, it's a very good movie. It's entertaining. The story is kind of ah, it's nice. And the actors, actresses that come into that movie are very nice. So it's a very good. good. I, I like the movies. Um, when were these two actors, um, Jennifer Aniston and oh my god, I forgot the Nam Sandler. Oh. They have a couple of movies together. Oh my god, That's I love true. their movies when they yeah. are together. <laughs> yeah, 
good things happen. <laughs> yeah, they are very entertaining, right? Very nice, and the story is yeah. kind of romantic. I mean, when, when you see a movie with feeling, it, it's nice, right? Because it touches you, uh, it makes your your day better. So I really like that that kind of movies as well. Very good. Uh, what movie would you recommend me to see? Mm, I'm not too good with that, but maybe, maybe for you, you already see that movie? Which one? Me, before you? Yeah, I have seen that movie. Ah, but I recommend you to see that movie again. That is a very I don't nice like movie. to cry, but <laughs> I love that movie. Yeah, it's a very good movie. It's like a romantic drama movie. And yeah. It's very nice. I, I really like it. Uh, sadly, the, the ending is not the one that you wish, but the story, I mean, sometimes that happens, right? Uh, there is another movie that is not similar, but it's a very good movie. I know you have you seen it. It's very romantic. That is romance. I, I forgot about that one. That is a Message in a Bottle. No. It's from the 90s. And he's with Kevin Costner and Robin Wright. It's a, it's a nice movie. You could see that one. I recommend you to see that one as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. I will take the, the recommendation. Very good. If you want to see it in English, it will be even better. Yeah. Sometimes I try to, to watch my favorite um, uh, TV series or when I see I just have time and put a... a Assyria and Netflix. Sometimes I try to 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 watch the Syria without the sub subtitles. Yeah. To practice my my listening, and if I I don't understand something, I just how do you say? Uh, I just re not retrace, just like. Um, ah, re rewind. Rewind the yeah the chapter. And put the subtitles to understand what the actors said. And that really works for me. Yeah, actually, it's very good. I mean, sometimes you don't even remember that it's in English. You are just listening, right? And yeah, but if the, 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 if the series is in British, with British accent, no. <laughs> it's difficult. Yeah, very difficult. It's difficult. Yeah, I know. It's difficult. Also, what is difficult sometimes is... Um, animated movies because since the sounds are kind of different and you um, I mean it's, it's for me it's kind of difficult to understand uh, some words of what they're doing I don't know why yep perfect thank you Giselle okay teacher my pleasure thank you okay Fernando yes teacher hello how are you um, I'm fine, teacher. Tired, but fine. And you? Yeah, me too. I'm very, very tired. You know, I've been sick. I've been working in a project and I had to wake up very early. And then, I mean, it's, it's been crazy. And you know, I'm very, I have a bad luck because I'm, I'm kind of sick. I have the flu. I, oh. I almost always am at home working. And then I decide that I have to go out and it rains. And it's like, yeah. oh my goodness. But so, tomorrow it's Friday. Not for me, to be honest with you. I'm going to work. Just and for the class. The day after tomorrow? Not for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But yeah, that's the way it is. Even though we are new low. Even yeah. though. But the good thing is that we had a double pay. So uh, I'm going yeah. to buy nice things. Money, before. money. Yeah, so uh, that's fine. That's good enough, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Fernando, what is your favorite movie? Favorite. Um actually I, I don't have favorite movie, so but I have some movies that I really like it. For example, Prestination. Um what is that one? I don't remember which one is that. Prestination is about one guy that he is herself mother father oh. grandfather grandmother so. i have seen that movie it's very very good it's yeah, really yeah. good yeah it's shocking because you are watching the movie and then something happens it's like what how is that happening yeah the first time what happened it's like dark 
is out there. You watching there? Yeah. Oh, that is amazing. Also, for me, in my opinion, of course, that is the best show in Netflix. That was amazing. The best show after Breaking Bad. Oh, Breaking Bad is amazing, definitely. Uh, but Breaking <laughs> Bad don't belong to Netflix. Yeah, that is true. That is true. Yeah. Uh, also, that that is is it's, it's belong to Netflix. Yeah, it was very very good. I mean, I was waiting for each season whenever that happened i i watched it what twice the whole thing and to be honest with you now that you told me about it maybe i'm gonna i'm gonna watch it yeah it's it's a good series and yeah. soon they they will have a new series from the darts after or creators uh yeah i heard that one that is going to be like a new show uh, i guess it's not going to be related but maybe it's going to be a good one right yeah I expected. What is that about? Do you know? Sorry. What is that say, uh, TV show about? Oh, I I don't know, teacher. I I only have a, I only I just saw a a poster in the in a tweet. I think, uh, I guess, in a tweet or in a Facebook uh, post. But I expected that. It will be it will be great because that um, creators are good. Okay, yeah, I mean when you have that kind of ideas, I mean probably you are going to come with something that is very nice. So let's hope for the better. That would yeah. be. Let's hope. Yeah, there's nothing else that we can do just to wait and expect. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, but, uh -huh. And I don't know, maybe Prestination is my favorite. That is a very good movie. Yeah, it's a movie that is not that common. I mean, not many people have seen that movie, but it's a very good. When I, yeah. Whenever I watched it, it was, oh, well, this is crazy. This is good. Yeah. Other other movie that I like, I like it so much, it's The Wolf of Wall Street. Oh, very good movie. Yeah, crazy as well. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, excellent, uh, excellent story, and it's based on a true story. So, it's very, very great. It's very shocking. Yeah, it's very nice. Yeah, yeah I like good. that one as well. Very good. Perfect. Okay, yeah. perfect. Fernando, thank you for your time. Thanks to you, sir. Good. One more. No, Fernando did it already. Juan Miguel. Maybe it's not my favorite, but it's a good one. Uh, the name is 13 Hours. The 13th Hour. 13 Hours, yeah. Uh, the Secret Soldiers of Benghazi, Benghazi if I don't, yeah, if I am not wrong. Uh, it's about, uh, a group of soldiers, squad maybe, uh -huh, who are um, private at the beginning of the story. Um, all the story, it's uh, happening in Libya, in ben Benghazi, is, okay. is the city where is located uh, um, an office, con consulado, a consulate, embassy. Mm -hmm, an embassy. Okay, an embassy. And uh, there was a terrorist uh, attack. No? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, at night. So uh, they were the private security, not the government security. Okay. Uh, so uh, they decide to support the uh, ambassador and to hold and reject the attack from uh, the bad people. Bad people was the insurgents, so they wanted to um, to explode the the consulate and um, take the consulate as. Uh, Como de ellos, like as, as the first. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And uh, all the story 
is happening during 13 hours. So that was the name. Uh, uh, for these 13 hours, uh, they um, confront many soldiers, many insurgents or many rebel soldiers, uh, just this squad, they tried to rescue the, the ambassador. Uh, I don't remember, but I think he died. In the, mean, in the meantime, when uh, they uh, when they knew that the conflict was uh, was attacking by these these soldiers, these uh, rebels, uh, so they tried to go to the office and try to rescue him. To try to rescue him, uh, at the end, I think. He died, and they uh, back to uh, to a government uh, perimeter. No, say I don't know how to say like a base, a military base. Uh huh. And uh, even they don't uh, government security or soldiers or something like that. They were Marines and Navy SEALs and something like that, and. They, they are like supermen trying to uh, counterattack. Uh, and at the end, obviously they, uh, they, they save, uh, no, they, uh, they resist the attack until one of the men, they knew at the, at the beginning of the movie, of the story, uh, they offered them um, like uh, to carry them or to um, to go to visit and meet the local police, but they didn't believe him. At the end, these men, uh, they uh, these men uh, arrive to the to the military base with the local police and they re repel the attack. Uh, it's a movie uh, that I like because it it has suspense or thriller I don't know and a uh, combined with action but a uh, heavy action because there are bullets, uh, guns, weapons, and many things. Uh, obviously, they were good, uh, uh, good trained, and they knew what to do and in order to counterattack for all the, the, the science, those six men, uh, leave the the entire military base and the entire soldiers and at the end they if i don't remember they are the only uh, who survived the attack uh but it's uh it's a fascinating movie to me i like action movies like uh saving private ryan black hat down oh black hat down nice yeah so if you like those movies, Black Hat Down and Saving Private Ryan, I, I think you will uh, enjoy this movie from the beginning um, until the end. Um, the name of the main character is John Krasinski. He's the actor. Uh, okay. I, I think he's, he acts in a, in a T show called uh, the office or something like that yeah so he is the he's the man <laughs> and at the end uh, uh, I, I, I was I just was seeing this 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 actor uh, like in comedies or something like that but the performance in the movie was really really good 
because you don't expect to to see a man who is laughing who is doing something hilarious acting like a soldier or something like that and it, it it's good it, uh, it's a good movie Okay, very well. It seems that is amazing. I haven't seen that one. You say that the name of the movie is The 13th Hour. The, no, 13 Hours. The Bengasi Soldiers or something like that. If it's Netflix, if I, if I don't, if my memory does, doesn't fail, it's Netflix. Okay. Okay, I'm going to look for that one. Actually, it's, um, I really like, you know, I like the old kind of movies. And it sounds very good. So definitely I'm going to look for that one. I'm going to watch it because I haven't seen that one, to be honest with you. Yeah, it's Netflix. It's, it's Netflix. Uh -huh. Okay. And it, gonna... it, it's a good movie. A very, very good movie. Very well. So definitely I'm going to look for that one and I'm going to enjoy that. Very nice. Sometimes, you know, you, you don't know what to watch and you want to watch something very nice. And then you have to remember these kind of things. Yes. Very well, perfect. Thank you, Juan Miguel, for sharing. Okay, my friends, so um, it's time to go to bed. I know that you want to continue speaking English, but you need to rest. So, but first of all, remember that uh, we need to wait for clarification from InsaForb to check about Friday if we're going to have classes or not. Most likely, it's not going to happen. But anyways, uh, let's wait. Let's wait and until they provide any information. I mean, sometimes they do it directly with the group. Sometimes they tell me, so I'm going to tell you in the group, uh, in the WhatsApp chat. Tomorrow, definitely no class. Tomorrow you are free and then uh, rest the ones that are not going to work. Uh, practice if you have the time. And uh, that's it. I'm going to check the attendance. Let me just check that very quickly and then we can check it down. Uh, Ada Azucena Cáceres Mendoza. Perfect, thank you. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Dani Jose García Martínez. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Good. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Iliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Jose Marcos Rodriguez Ayala. Present. Good. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Juan Miguel Brand Mejía. Present teacher. Good. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana Ivette Asensio de Mejía. Present. Good. Sonia Guadalupe Benítez de Claros. Sulaima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Very well. Okay, my friends, see you, I don't know if Friday or next Monday, but we're going to see each other. Uh, rest very well, enjoy the vacations, and dream in English. See you around. See you, Peter. Thank you. Thank you. Good, Good night. night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye.